friends, I am Anika Larson, a.k.a. Green Mom AF, and this is the Broadway vlog to save the planet, where I'm going to help you go from feeling helpless and hopeless to helpful and hopeful, which is what the UN Global Goals for Sustainability did for me. Today, we are going to talk about goal number six, clean water and sanitation. Sing it, Gregory. Clean water and sanitation. And here to talk about it with us is Broadway actor Tamar Green. Hi, Tamar. Hello. How are you doing, Anika? I'm great. I'm happy to be here. Oh, good, good. Good to have you here. <laughs> Tamar, we are in your dressing room at the Richard Rogers Theater because you are currently starring in Hamilton. I am. Yeah, yes, indeed. Who uh, are you? I play the role. It's a little un, you uh -huh. know, lesser known role yeah. of George Washington. George Washington. I'm a Did history he, buff, so I've heard, oh, I've heard great. of him. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. And this is your Broadway debut, yeah? <laughs> yes, it was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what an epic debut it's for pretty, you. It's oh, amazing. Yeah. So thrilling. <laughs> um, but you've also toured the country in Love Never Dies and Porgy and Bess. Yeah, yeah. And you're an accomplished voice teacher, writer, arranger, classical pianist. I saw you a Accompany yourself on a dope mashup arrangement <laughs> of a song. I was floored. Thank you. I appreciate it. I love doing that. It really is fun. <laughs> yeah. And you also serve on the Hamilton Racial Justice Task Force, which is an amazing way that this show is addressing global goal number 10, reduced inequalities. Can you tell us about that? Well, the Hamilton Racial Justice Task Force, now called Ham for Progress, mm -hmm. is an organization made up of uh, different members from each of the companies of Hamilton, even as far as Australia, mm -hmm. who come together to tackle the, the issue of how we have historically and actively uh, disinvested in different communities of color. I love it when artists use their platform to address the wrongs in the world and yeah. work constructively to help fix them. Yeah, me yeah. as well. It's really yeah. exciting. So, global goal number six. Clean water and sanitation. Tamar, what exactly is the goal of this goal? Oh, it is to ensure the availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. Mm -hmm. Sing it, Gregory. Ensure availability and sustainable management for clean, 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 clean water and sanitation for all. One in three people live without sanitation, which is causing unnecessary disease and death. Although huge strides have been made with access to clean drinking water, lack of sanitation is undermining these advances. Mm. If we provide affordable equipment and education and hygiene practices, we can stop this senseless suffering and loss of life. Yes! Tamar, <laughs> suddenly we have been transported backstage to one of the Hamilton water coolers where the entire company can, yes, <laughs> fill their reusable water bottles with delicious New York City water. Hey, do you love the taste of New York City water as much as I do? Oh, absolutely. Yes. I didn't know how delicious it would be when I first got here. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> how could you not? Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, it comes straight down from the Hudson Valley and the Catskill Mountains across a 2,000 square mile watershed. It provides, get this, one billion gallons of safe drinking water to New York City's 8.5 million residents every day, and it is world-renowned for its quality and reliability. We are wicked lucky. We have such easy access to such great water. Keeps us hydrated when we're talking and singing and dancing about, you know, I don't know, fighting in a revolutionary war or mm -hmm. founding a new country. That's got to be dehydrating. It takes a lot of water. I actually <laughs> try to drink 130 ounces of water a day. Do you? It's a lot. I do. Yeah. Are you yeah. successful? Well, what percentage of the days are you successful? I would say a little more than half of the huh. week. I'm pretty good at it. Hydrated war. George Washington. <laughs> we love that. Yes. And across Broadway, every Broadway show has these water coolers with delicious New York City water, stage left and stage right. Hey, you know another thing that we take for granted? Our indoor plumbing. Ah. Our yes. access to clean, functioning toilets. Um, I mean, imagine trying to make all your entrances if you had to, like, go outside to an outhouse and then come back in in costume. That would be no fun. No, that'd be insane. No, I would hate it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're sold on the indoor plumbing. Oh, absolutely. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, Anika, there's an extraordinary organization working right here in New York City to keep our water clean and safe. Oh. It's called the Billion Oyster Project. Huh. Folks from our industry and other New Yorkers, even school kids, volunteer with them to restore oyster oyster reefs to New York Harbor, which was once home to 220,000 acres of oyster reefs that have all but disappeared in 100 years. Um, okay, but who cares about oysters, Tamar? Come on, Anika. Oysters what? are very important to clean water systems. They can each 
filter up to 50 gallons of water a day. What? 50 gallons of water. What? They provide a habitat for hundreds of other species mm-hmm. and can protect our city from storm damage. No. Softening the... <laughs> so, yeah, indeed, yes. <laughs> softening the blow of large waves, reducing flooding, and preventing erosion along the shorelines. That's natural infrastructure. You just blew my mind, Tamar Green. It's pretty amazing. Now... Globally, if we widen the lens out from 46th Street in Manhattan, some of the targets of this goal are... The targets! To achieve universal and equitable access to safe and affordable drinking water for all. Achieve access to adequate and equitable sanitation and hygiene for all. Improve water quality by reducing pollution and dumping into water supplies and cut untreated wastewater in half. Protect and restore water-related ecosystems like the oysters. Expand international water and sanitation support to developing countries. Okay, yeah. so these are large targets, and right. you might be wondering what you can possibly do to help. What can I do? Our problems can seem so massive, and the solution so out of our control that it's overwhelming, but you are not powerless. There is always something you can do, something that is manageable for you in your life. If we all just keep trying to do the next right thing. Do the next right thing. Together, we can achieve these goals. Yes, we can. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Of course, you can always find a Gold 6 charity like Billion Oyster Project Mm -hmm. and make a donation, big or small. Don't overuse water. No. Be mindful when washing dishes, Mm -hmm. brushing your teeth, gardening, or taking a shower. Mm -hmm. And bathtubs require gallons more water than a 5 or 10 minute shower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't buy bottled water, especially if you have access to wicked awesome Broadway style water. Absolutely. Organize or join a cleanup project for rivers or oceans and get that single-use plastic out of our waterways. Yes, Yes, and don't be afraid to talk about poop. Four billion people lack access to basic sanitation services. Lend your voice to the efforts to get toilets into these communities around the world. And always stay informed and vote. Vote. Vote, please. Vote! Alrighty, as always, mm-hmm. we end the Broadway blog to save the planet with the lightning round. The lightning round! The clock starts now. What rich character in a musical would be most likely to give away all their money if they really understood the devastating effects of income inequality? Daddy Warbucks from Annie, the King of Siam from The King and I, Ava Peron from Evita, Benny from Rent, Captain Von Trapp from The Sound of Music. Maybe the King of Siam, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> what role have you always wanted to play but have never gotten to play because you were quote unquote the wrong gender? Eliza Schuyler. What is the worst survival job you ever had? Oof, oh, telemarketing. What is the greatest theater city in the world? New York City. Since a revival of a show is basically reusing, recycling, repurposing it, so it's super good for the planet, what show would you want to recycle to star in? Ragtime. Who's greener, Alphaba or Greta Thunberg? <laughs> Greta Thunberg. <laughs> Which of these invasive species in New York City would you most want to lose in a mixed martial arts battle? Rats, cockroaches, or red spotted lantern flies? I guess the newest answer is the lantern flies, but the rats, though. There's so many of them. I'm going to go with rats. <laughs> Which family was right? A, the Montagues, B, the Capulets, or C, we should just give peace a chance? Ooh, we'll just give peace a chance. Ding! 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 Thank you, Tamar, and thank you for watching. My friends, if you are ever feeling down about it all, please know that the climate revolution is a groundswell of people working towards shared prosperity on a healthy planet. More and more people every day innovating, problem solving, making good trouble, all in the ways that make sense for them and who they are, and you can too. Arthur Ashe said, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. If we all just do the next right thing, together we are going to make a greener and fairer and more prosperous world. See what I did? See what I did? Yeah.